So we're going to look at verses 5 and 6, mm -hmm. and this is really will wrap up what we've been talking about tonight, all mm -hmm. right? Let's look at it. He, and this is talking uh, about God, predestined us to be adopted. See, there's that word adopted again, um, right. Richard, that, that you were um, expressing. As his sons through Jesus Christ. Now, I want you to understand that, that that's inclusive language. It's just not boys, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Sons and daughters uh, through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure mm -hmm. and will. To the praise of his glorious grace, which he has freely given us in the one he loves. How about that? Huh? Amen. Now, let's, let's go back to this word predestined. Have you ever heard of that word? What does that word mean? Like chosen before, like God had plans that... Chosen before. Right. Okay. Um, have you heard of it? Have, well, how have you heard of it? Like you been predestined. Destined to be in the first black president. Okay, so what does that mean? What is, <laughs> what is predestined mean? <laughs> it's, like, um, it's like that skit we used to do with, you know, uh, even though it was dealing with abortion, it was showing that God was pretty much, he had a plan for each child who was being born mm -hmm. black. And so it's like, it's has already been mapped out. Huh, okay, all right, good. Rich? I, I would I would agree with you. He already has you marked for his purpose. Okay, okay, all right. So notice this predestined is a is is a is one of those compound words, mm -hmm. and and to destine is to determine. Okay, pro like destiny. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, kind of. You know, it's so it's determined before right. when determine us to be adopted. Okay, as sons, there's that word, fully as child, right, uh, as the sons through Jesus Christ. So we don't just pop up and say we're going to be the son of God, we're going to be the daughter of God. Um, it has to go through Jesus Christ. We don't, we don't receive God's grace in and of ourselves, through our own power. We, we receive this the spirit of adoption through Jesus Christ. The election, the chosenness of us, right, mm -hmm. comes through Jesus right. Christ in accordance with his pleasure. In other words, God was not doing this. Okay. <laughs> you're the one. You're the, yeah, you're the evil one. Come on. He was not up there with his... He, he wasn't, he didn't have his hands crossed and, 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 and grumbling like many of us do under his breath, choosing us. He says, for his good pleasure, it delighted the Lord to send his only begotten son to die just for you and just for me. It's for his good pleasure. Why? Because he has, to the praise of his glorious grace. What does that say? What does that mean to you guys? To the praise of his glorious grace. Well, what's grace? Huh? What is grace? Grace is... Uh, <clears throat> grace is favor from God, right? Okay. We don't deserve it, right? Right. Yeah, it's something that we don't, don't deserve. deserve. Yeah. Huh? Yeah? It's something that we don't deserve. Okay? Mm -hmm. And so, so he has allowed us to come in and okay. receive. Okay, through who? Through Christ, which he has freely given us in the one he loves. Mm -hmm. Listen, really important. When God the Father looks at you, he sees his son. He sees the blood of his son. And it's that blood that reminds him that his son gave his life as a sacrifice for you. And he see, when he sees that blood, he also knows that you've, you freely accepted it. It wasn't that it was a robot, that you were a robot, but that you freely accepted him. Okay? And that delights him even more. 
Now there's all kinds of doctrines between predestination, double uh, predestination, free will. We're not going to get into that discussion. But the thing is, is that we did not choose God. God chose us first. Amen. Amen? In the one he loves. He loves his son. Just like I love you, God. Even more. God loves you more than I can ever love you. God loves um, you more than you know your dad can love you. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. What's your question? just think that um, just from a little bit that we, we've studied so far, it just really promotes you to want to really want to begin to grow in Christ. Yeah. And I think that's a, from what from what we just said, that's really the gist of this little section that we just read. How do we grow in Christ? Yes. And, and part of our growing in Christ is to really realize that God marked us out beforehand. You know, he marked us, he marked us beforehand. And I don't know about you, but if you understand, if I understand that I'm, I've been marked out before, beforehand, mm -hmm. before, beforehand, before I did any good works, before I did <coughs> any good deeds, before I said any good words, mm -hmm. by God, chosen to be his child, then, then, you know, I want to. I want to serve them that way. Amen. I don't always serve them that way, but Amen. but it stirs me to say, "Wow, God, you know, help me to, to stir, help me to be stirred, help me to be who I, who I am, and not how the enemy wanted me to be or wants me to be." Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, um, let's let's pray. Thank you, guys, for for Bible study tonight. It was really good. On Sunday, we're we're going to cover. Um, um, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 and verses through 14 okay so you want to be ready for that um, one of the things I want to encourage you to do is to write down three questions okay um, on what you have on this Bible study now throughout the week you should have been you should have been writing three questions um, for every two verses that you you've had each day so by Sunday um, you should be, uh, you should have a, a pretty long list of questions, um, and we'll, we'll be able to see um, who has the same questions and, and hopefully be able to answer uh, those questions or, or find someone who does answer. So let's pray. Thank you uh, for looking at this. Uh, parents, feel free to sit down and, and uh, discuss this Bible study with your children. Um, and if, if you know, feel free to uh, send me an email if you have any questions. Um, I'm more than happy to answer it before Sunday. Um, but pray, meditate on what we've covered, and we'll see you on Sunday. All right, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we just thank you. We ask God that you would help us to um, just retain this, this, the information that you have given us. Lord, we thank you that we are your adopted sons and daughters. We thank you, God, that there is nothing that we can do to be good, Lord, but that is through your grace, through your um, gift of love to us that um, has saved us through Jesus Christ. And so, Lord, we thank you, Father, that um, we can uh, come together and be your children, Lord, um, not because we chose you, but because you chose us first. So help us, Father, to learn and know how to be um, your obedient children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.